all right what is going on everyone and welcome back to more black desert so today i woke up and i was like i want to go enhancing which you know is never really a good idea but i mean today we are going with episode five of our black star journey to pen and if you want to catch the other episodes check the link in the description you can watch in order and <clears throat> yeah today i just felt like enhancing so i just made like a hundred of these um, yeah, I'll probably get more mem frags. I'll buy them if I need them. And usually I only do this once a week because it's kind of expensive to do this, actually. But, um, I believe where we left off last time was we have a 140 stack for Tet. And the goal is to either build this 240 up to like a 280 or something, close to 300, and then use that for Pendebo clicks. And that's the goal. So, yeah, we have a 310 ready for our first demo whenever we get enough crons for that. And, yeah, let's start it up. Let's see. We have a pry. No, wait, we have a duo. And we have... Let's start with the 70 stack. All right. That's how we're starting today. Cool. Fun. All right. Let's, we'll just use all these stacks. I always told myself, if I ran out of fail stacks, we're done enhancing forever. But obviously, if you've played the game, they just kind of give out random fail stacks like candy. So here we are. That's how they get you. If it goes tet, we click for pen, so it's not like, not a big deal. I didn't even go to it. Yeah, I think my average for like Tets is probably like 180. I've made a lot of 200 stacks, but I've also clicked them on um, decent stacks as well. Oh my god, game. The, way, the reason why we do this is because there's a chance of giving you one free durability, and Memfrags are. Kind of expensive. They've actually gone down in price ever since the Dekia, Achman, and Histria, and they give more of those ancient scrolls. So it's actually gone down from like almost five mil each to like three point five, which is pretty good actually. All right. That didn't feel good. You guys remember back in the day, I don't know how many of you guys have been playing for, I don't know, many years. But you would actually do this one at a time because memfrags were like basically permanently sold out. And for all of you old school people here in BDO, you will know that before the central market, they had a pre-order system. So basically, whoever had a like the highest order um, would get the item. So people would be paying like 10 mil for one memfrag back in the day. And there was like an uncapped limit. So... Obviously, the central market system is very good nowadays, and uh, you can't do that. But, <laughs> yeah, I remember paying probably for a tri grad rank, or actually, let me actually tell you a story. So, Tungrad earring, this was considered best in slot maybe five, six years ago. And right now, these are like less than two billion silver. Cool, right? I paid about like 8 billion for it back in the day, 8 to 10 billion, just because there was no cap. And then the, obviously the cap was unlimited, but the average price for this was a lot higher. And then the Tet was like 15. Yeah, it's kind of wild how uh, the economy shifts over the years. Should I use a 45 on a pry? Probably not. One, mm, I feel like it's going to go. Yep. 
Your boy is about to make another 100 stack. I'll be honest, like, even if you didn't get a bonus, I wish there was a way to recover all instantly, just like zero to max. If there is, I actually have no idea. Yeah, we're gonna have to buy more Memphrag soon. Oh, we made another hundred. Feels bad. That's actually pretty bad. Hold up. <laughs> another 98 stack made and devoured. And we also have more of these. Oh, that's an 84 Valk. Uh, I should... I could get rid of that. Probably not on this, though. <laughs> Made a good decision. 7.9. Okay. How many memfrags do I have left? I'll buy more from the market. Let me just use these up first. It's funny watching <laughs> people light silver on fire and then you do it. It doesn't feel funny anymore. But anyway, we do this for content. Hopefully you guys enjoy these. I actually wonder though how long it's going to take me to get a pen and I don't know. I guess it just depends on, you know, <laughs> whatever, how many tets we can get over time. How many duo to try fails do we get? How many times do we make a hundred stacks? All right, um, thank God the price is going down. Should probably buy some. Uh, let's buy another. Ooh. Oh, they changed the UI for this. I'm just like, I have to think about it now. Where do I want this to go? Tori, okay. I understand why they changed the UI for like, you know how when you open up the markets in the center, like it's it's supposed to match and balance the way it used to be. But like, it's just going to take my brain a while to figure that out or just get used to it. The worst part is I've been grinding a lot of Ash Forest, and we all know that place is not really good for money. Like, you're there for the Debo necklaces, and if you don't get one, the hour feels actually really bad. But it is what it is for endgame gear progression.
It would be nice if we could get at least one uh, Tet so we can go for Pen. Or we could just keep making stacks. Like, I don't even know what to do with a 160 these days. It's like, even if I was trying to enhance her profit, I don't know what I'd make with the 160. Like, it's just one of those stacks. You might as well just keep building up. These are all not stacks I would use. These are all like 80 plus. I have a feeling I'm going to tank a lot of these 100s on uh, try to tet debos and then fail the pen attempt over and over. It does not feel good. <laughs> Uh, how many Valks do we have? 105? Uh, probably not. I should actually save these because if I plan on doing Debo clicks, I'm going to act like I actually used 100 plus that. So not for Black Stars, but I'll use them for something else. I don't even have any like. I should save these tets for, like, a higher stack. It's not worth it. Mm, okay. Well. Yeah. Expected outcome. Ooh, we got a free Dura. Okay. Mm, where were we? 30. Thank God, dude. These are going in one tap. If it went like six taps on Pride of Duo, it actually feels really bad. way to hold on wasn't there a way to actually do that oh yeah you just click oh saves okay want to double check that So at least two of them. That's good. tanks so fast just make this faster you know they can fix it and make it go faster just like they changed to Ula, well not ulakita the magnus well that was such a good change like you know how instead of going through like seven different load screens you just go through like maybe one for the ulakita well i still saw people complaining about that and i thought that was like the greatest change ever i had zero complaints with the whole fast teleport it was so good Holy, dude, just give me a try. Gotta go to Garmoth in 15. Ooh, 
this doesn't feel good. Um, especially clicking on 50s does not feel good. But how many do we have? Let's buy... Let's do two more click or like two more sets. So that's about 240. So by like another 200, 210. It's like 2.5 billion down the drain. Just going for more fail stacks. Fun game. This is why we grind, though, for the entertainment. This is the slowest repair. They really need to fix that. Make it go faster. And for all the people who are trying to min max, you're doing it one by one anyway, not like auto. Yikes. <laughs> Back to the repair. But yeah, I've been actually thinking about trying out the new spot, even though I don't really need to be there. Um, it's mostly for the end game artifacts, but I just need Deborekas now. Then I'll try the new stuff out. All right. We'll do these last ones and then call the video for today. At least we're getting one more attempt. Oh, still didn't even go. We started with 140 and then 170, so that's... Six attempts today, six uh, Ted attempts. That's not bad. Would have been nice to get a free one though. Twenty durability in a dream. Never mind. <laughs> Dream is dead for today. We got six attempts in. Not bad. Um, just might as well repair four durability. Hey, we got a fifth one. All right. So how much did we spend today? Um, we started with like I think five hundred, and then we bought another seven hundred. So technically we're in terms of like memfrag cost, we are down 1200 times we're about like 4 billion. And then the fail stacks alone, probably another, I don't know. Like it's hard to really value my fail stacks when they're different, but probably around like six, 7 billion silver. If I had to put a value on it, but that's okay. We'll just grind more hours. How do I think of it? Like, if I were to grind Ash Forest, and assuming we take Debos out of the equation because I actually use them, I make about like five to six hundred mil an hour at Ash Forest. It's not great. So that's like 10 hours. But it's fine. I don't, it's not a big deal. There's other ways to make silver in this game. But anyway, with that said, hope you enjoyed this episode. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. 
would love to see you guys come back. We'll do episode six sometime next week. And I have to actually prepare and get more fail stacks again. Um, get more fail stacks, get more mem frags and all that good stuff. And I'll see you guys later. Peace.